Stampers is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics and today this is going to be my first card for my paper and ink sketches and it's a brand new program that I'm starting with some fellow demonstrators so you're probably going to see these sketches other places online and you can either make it exactly how the sketch says and here they give you the measurements of how you make it and it tells you what to do and use a bold pattern and use um, ribbon or a piece of um, paper, I guess you can use, let's see, a piece of coordinating cardstock, use white card base. It tells you specifically everything, or you can take this idea and use it as a layout and go from there. And that's sort of what I did. I didn't do it exactly like the sketch said. I didn't make a bow and I didn't, you know, use that. I decided to use ribbon. So um, this program will run from July of 2016 all the way through June of 2017 and I'm going to be posting these um, probably the first and third Thursday of the month so you can just be looking out for those and get some great ideas. So this is the first card that I made and I'm going to show you how we did it. I thought the paper from the fruit stand just screamed summer. It just has beautiful flowers and fruits and it's just so bright and colorful. I just thought it would be great for summer. So here's what I did. I used the bold print, like it said. Then I used ribbon. I used our flirty flamingo ribbon. That rush ribbon is so pretty. And I stamped one of the flowers from the stamp set. And this is called Fresh Fruit. And I just used this flower and the outline. And then for my saying, I used birthday banners and I took the happy birthday because I always need birthday cards. So I thought, why not? And then it's supposed to be in the bottom corner, so there's where I put it. So let me show you how I made this card. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it's gonna be eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter and fold it down good, crease it with your bone folder. Then you're going to also need the piece of two by five and a quarter of your bold print, which I used from the designer paper, the Fresh Fruit. And then you're also going to need the ribbon Flirty Flamingo. And I just love this ribbon. I've been using it so much. And then just um, another piece of paper for you to stamp your little flower on that we're going to later have to fussy cut and cut out. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you can do is, um, I like to stamp first. This way, if I make a mistake or it doesn't work out, I can always change it up. So I'm going to be using two ink colors today. We're going to use Watermelon Wonder on the flower, and we're going to use Flirty Flamingo for our saying. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my saying first, which is the happy birthday. And I'm just putting it in that bottom corner, like I said. That seemed to came out pretty good. So now I'll go ahead and put my paper on. I'm just going to use some snail to attach it. Okay, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a border. So I'm not going to put it right at the top, just like that. And then I'm going to take my Flirty Flamingo ribbon and I'm just going to kind of measure it across. I'm not going to try to do it evenly. I'm going to overlap a little because I can cut it off later. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat just so I don't get ink all over everything. And I think I'm going to use my Fast Fuse for a stronger adhesive. And on the back, I'm just going to put that down. And I'm just going to put it right across the bottom of that paper. And then on the back, I'm just going to cut those excess off so I have a nice clean edge. Okay. And there you go. And now next we're going to do our flower. So the first thing I like to do is the outline. So I'm going to be using my Watermelon Wonder. And 
And then on top of that, I'm going to just stamp right inside it with the same color. And I'm just going to keep kind of turn my stamps until I find the best way to stamp it. And you'll kind of see as you use it what works best. And when you think you have it lined up pretty good, then I went ahead and just stamped. Give it a minute for the ink to release and pick it up. And it is supposed to do that. It is supposed to have highlights and lowlights on the flower, so don't think you made a mistake. And then the next part I'm going to do is just start fussy cutting. But um, I did finish fussy, cut fussy cutting this flower out, and the last thing that I'm going to do is take um, some black ink because all of these flowers have this little dot in the middle that was black, and so I thought, well, I want to do that with my flower too. So I took the smallest dot that's in the set, and I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle there. There we go. And now we're ready to put it on the card. And I did take a dimensional. Just put it right on the back there. And I did adhere this to the card, sort of over the ribbon area, just like that. And that's my first card for the first sketch. I hope you like it. Thanks. Ooh.